Standing out from the crowd of similar makes, models, and years is something that can be done easily when you take in consideration the pointers given here. The big movement in inventory management is actually in terms of merchandising. Basically, uh, First Look and V Auto and uh, Dealer Tracky Car List, they all have tools now, so you can be priced more or less in the game. Everybody's priced pretty similarly. It's very hard to differentiate on price anymore. So the critical thing is to sell on value. And if you can find ways to create value for the car and prove to the dealer, or sorry, prove to the dealer can prove to the customer that this used car, every used car is like a snowflake, right? Everyone's a little bit different. If you can find ways to prove to them that this car is more valuable than other cars, then you can maintain your gross and have a profitable dealership. At Max Systems, what we found was that by pulling in as much data from across the internet as possible, um, from crash test ratings to all the Carfax information, um, expert reviews, uh, competitive comparisons, you know, why the Camaro has better acceleration than the Ford, uh, Mustang, that sort of thing. By pulling all of that information into the system, then you can create merchandising all through all points of the sales funnel. So you've got email responses, you've got on the lot, we've got an iPad app, you've got your vehicle descriptions, you've got your window stickers. Uh, for example, you can put packages on the window stickers. Nobody else does this. If, if it's got the cold weather package or if it's got the premium package, you can put that on the window sticker and that helps sell value of the car. People see the premium package or the sport package, they know that's got value. And so that builds value for the car and again, allows you to um, sell on value instead of selling on price.